folks and welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. In the last video, in order to get the wheel ready, we had to go over the three stipulations, which were one, serve Thimbleberry pie, two, crack the coat on the wheel, and three, open Chuck's tomb. Oh, we've already got the pie here. Ricky Lee's famous Thimbleberry pie. I keep it for good luck. Now your good luck's about to run out because I'm giving it away. We'll give the pie to the lawyer. Mr. Balowick, here's the uh, freshly baked thimbleberry pie. One of Chuck's three stipulations is now fulfilled. We have a fresh thimbleberry pie. You still need to decode his will, and then we'll meet inside Chuck's opulent tomb. So let's go decode the will. This is all in binary. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. Yeah, in the hard mode, you have to do it the hard way yourself. Let's go up here. Open the door. We'll pick up the graphics baked it. Use graphic basic and computer. My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with graphics basic. Oh, we we'll use it. Use well with computer. It's working. Whoever created graphics basic has a brilliant career ahead of them. Okay, so this is the will. I, Charles Edmund, being of sound mind and body, do hereby declare this my last will and testament, revoking any and all wills previously made by me. I declare that I am making this last will and testament of my own will being under no threat of coercion or duress of no other human being. I am of free mind and body. I declare that I have no children natural or adopted. I have a single brother, Franklin, and he has two offsprings, Lenore and Dolores. I hereby appoint Brent Bailiwick, J.D., as executor of my will, and direct that he serve without bond. This will is executed under the laws and jurisdiction of Thimbleweed County, and all claims and forfeitures will be in accordance with its laws as on the year 1987. Send that read as in the year 1987. Oh well. At least that's what the will says. I did it. It's totally decoded now. I'll give it back to Mr. Balowick. Okay, so let's go see Mr. Bal Bal Balowick again. Yeah, go to lawyer. Here's the decoded will, Mr. Balowick. Let me see. You've done it, Dolores. Two of Chuck's three stipulations are now fulfilled. The final one is to read the will in your Uncle Chuck's opulent tomb. I'll meet you there. Well, my family will wait right here until you've opened the tomb, Dolores. Hurry along. We don't have all evening. Poor Chuck, he needs his sleep. Uh, you got all evening because you're a lady of the evening. You're a street walker. Now we gotta go get the tomb open. Now we 
gotta switch to another character. This guy. Oh. Oh, I'm, you know, really dead. It's just starting to, you know, sink in. I'm never gonna hold my Dolores again. I never told her how proud I was of her for getting that job designing games. I was, you know, too afraid of what Chuck would think. Now I'm dead. I don't remember who killed me or why I'm trapped in this hotel. I need to find a way to escape from here. There has to be a way out. A magical book or a spell? Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. That only works in games. Now, what do you think this is? It's a game. Oh, it works in this game. Again, up to the penthouse. I can't believe I finally made it to the penthouse. Who's that now? What are you doing here? Um, you know, just looking about. I suppose I'll allow that as long as you don't annoy me. Open the door. What's going on? Those runes are doing something to me. I can't, you know, float through the door. Oh, let's see here. Right here. I got to look in the door. I forgot what to do. I need to get into the factory to steal. Uh, I mean, find the secret to the AI. No, you mean steal it. We need to get a character up there to open the door to the secret room. Who's that now? This is unbelievable. An alive human in my penthouse. Cleta's in so much trouble next time I see her. Yeah, it's incredible. Two visitors in one day. Open. Oh, we'll get Frank in here. We we'll walk through here. Looks like Chuck got a tomb to fit his ego. Yep. He got a tomb to fit it, matches his ego. And I don't think there is a book of the dead in a casual mode. I tried hunting for it. I couldn't find it. We'll look again to see if there's a book of the dead. We'll go to the uh, occult bookstore. The monkey paw knows. Nothing. That monkey paw doesn't know anything.
Now all three of Chuck Edmonds' stipulations are fulfilled as we stand next to his remains. I will now read his will. I, Charles Edmund, being of sound mind and body, do hereby declare this, my last will and testament. Blah, 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 legalese here. Ah, yes. It is my will that the entire estate of all property and money be passed to... Yes? Yes? Madam, quiet, please. To the Amalgamated Holdings Corporation. What? And that all of Thimbleweed County be plowed under and a giant server farm be built in its place. You gotta be kidding. What? Oh, my. Ooh, <laughs> Doug likes farms. The destruction of Thimbleweed County will begin two days after verifying this will and testament. In the meantime, Safely First Savings now has possession of the pillow factory and its key. Oh, and this last part in tiny print. Dolores gets a Pillotron 3000 t-shirt. This is as much as he'll ever get from Pillotronics. Lenore gets nothing. Franklin gets nothing. Doug gets my ceremonial zinc-plated shovel. Yippee! Well, good day. I'd better pack now. Here's your zinc-plated shovel, Doug. And your t-shirt, Dolores. Enjoy. Well, I never. Come along, Peter and Chucky. We're leaving. Part 6, The Factory. Something is very wrong here. I need to get into the factory and see if I can figure out what happened to Uncle Chuck. Well, you're not gonna like what happened to Uncle Chuck. Yep, we all need to get into the factory. So folks, I'm gonna end gameplay right here in the next video. We're gonna try and get into the factory. So this is Gamer Lawn signing out, saying thanks for watching and take care folks. Bye. I'll talk to you later. Take care.